Hello everybody, welcome back to Vampire. It's been a hot second since the last time I played, but I figured why not continue this story right now. I haven't really been streaming or uh, recording as much lately because of some, um, some personal issues, but I've been taking a little bit of a break. Target locals. Interesting. Okay. I actually don't remember how to fucking play the game anymore. Let's see. What about him? Am I supposed to talk to him? Maybe. Please leave me alone. Okay. Not as much. Not long ago, this sort of mess. Please leave me alone. Hello, sir. Are they stupid? May I disturb you again? And you're still ugly as sin. That's not nice. I'll leave you to your bottle then. Yeah. Uh, maybe this game could give me like a. He didn't deserve this. Like a pinpoint on where I'm supposed to be going, maybe. Welcome back. Did you find what you were after? I can't say I have. Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. Tom, talk to me about the visit from your old friend, William. Yes, Will came by tonight, but he's not my friend anymore. Okay, then who is he? Who is he? William. Just an old sailor who loves his gin too much. He worked for years at the canning factory before it closed. That's interesting, though. Is he dangerous? Yeah. Like many drunks, he's all bark and no bite. He can barely stand up most of the time. How was he tonight? Was he different? Oh, sicker than usual, perhaps. He whined and mumbled about how mean people were to him and how he'd like to talk to me outside. And then he left when I refused. Why lie to me if he is not your friend? I didn't lie. I said you were my only unannounced customer, and that's the truth. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What do you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. William used to be strong. Now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? Okay. So I think Dream I do actually have He didn't deserve this. Like a I watch him call it like a compass or something. On the top line right there. That's that's actually pretty cool. Let's see, I don't remember how I'm supposed I to be teleported. To I know, I can teleport, I don't What's know. Being done how. To, me, to this city. How did I do it? Can I do something else? Just. Oh. The body is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. Okay. Let's uh, pick up the note. What's this? Some sort of note. Can I read it, maybe? Where did I... Is it right here? No? Hmm. Where's the fucking note? L, B, R, B. Okay. Drain your own blood to heal normal aggravate damage. Okay. That's interesting. An ultimate thing? Used stake, used machete. I got a pistol? Interesting. 
interesting. So, oh, you can, huh? You can heal people. That's interesting. This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. So it is a vampire. Blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. Okay, how am I supposed to do that? Oh. Okay. That's interesting. District status stable. So if I kill too many people, then I'm guessing it's going to become unstable or something like that. Hunter. Can I... Okay, how do I? Over there! There's one of them birds! Okay. Rest to evolve. Ranged weapons press and like both standard and stun. Be aware that your ammo is limited. Ammunition so. crate. Good. I may need a lot of bullets. I feel like I'm back on the front line again. I cannot enter. I feel that the controls are a little bit wonky. There's like two guys right here. How do I? Can I even? Can I go out that window right there? How do I sneak? Like, is there a way? Oh, he's level five. Okay, uh, <laughs> LB is that, RB is that. How come I can't heal up? Wait, my green is, is health, right? The orange one is stamina, and then the red is the blood hunger thing, I guess? He's level five, let's, let's go fucking kill him. Sorry, sir, no admittance. <laughs> oh, I fucking killed him. I <laughs> love it. I think I saw uh, like a crate over here, maybe there's some money. Killings. I have no idea how much money that is. Is that like very much? Is it very low? Nothing up here for me, I don't think. Can I get out here? It's no. locked. And I'm guessing this I is locked, yeah. Enter. I know this this game is trying to pull me towards like a certain direction. Press out to spot enemies around and display their enemy health. Melee, ranged, powers of blood and shadow, resistances. Oh, that's the resist. Okay, so he can resist both melee and ranged, I think. Or orange indicates a medium resistance, red indicates a high resistance. So he can't be shot. This guy can't be shot either. So that guy is sustainable to melee damage, but this guy is also sustainable to that, I guess. This was mine! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. 
<laughs> yeah, the controls are kind of clunky. I don't really like the controls here, I feel. I, I feel they're kind of, uh, I don't know, slow maybe? That fucking werewolf? We won't see any of these bastards back here again. Gunman, cadet, like he's good at milling, like but not ranged. This guy's good at ranged, but not, not milly. So the guy outside here too. Oh. He's walking there. What is he up to? Driven fire executioner. Is that a flamethrowing guy? Yeah, it is. It's like one of those flamethrower guys. Could you turn around, maybe? So I can leech blood of your body. Over there! <laughs> oh, they didn't hear that. Oh, that makes my job so much easier. What the hell is happening over here? So much blood everywhere. Wait, what is that? Riven gunner. So there's two gunners and a melee guy. I really don't want to be killing them, so... I kind of feel, you feel like there's way too many. What is that? Okay, so this is like a shotgun then. Use Lipara, level 1. Ranged weapon. I see you can upgrade it. I have no idea if this is any good. It has a decent damage, I think. Oh yeah, it's like four or five times as good as a fucking revolver, but I don't know. We'll see. That's this nest of them cleaned out. Stay close, keep an eye on each other. I got inside? Yeah, it's standing with with a back towards the other guy, so Fight out. Okay. What is this guy? Common handle parts and lead plates. Wait, does that mean I can upgrade my shoddy? Or something like that? I don't really see the point in up upgrading weapons if I'm going to change them out very soon, so... I have no idea if I'm actually gonna be changing the map very soon. This is an upgrade like a used machete. Can I upgrade this? Weapon upgrade. You can upgrade weapons to a new level with the required ingredients. It will inflict more damage and also gain access to customization slots. Oh. I can actually afford this. It will raise my damage by like 13. Ah, screw it. Let's, let's do it. I don't have aluminum powder, so... Well, that's fine. I will also probably upgrade this if I can. Because, like, I need more fucking... I need more st um, stun. I'm guessing this is going to be stunning them more. I have no fucking idea, though. What's this? Refill. 
I have no idea what I'm refilling. Am I refilling my weapons, maybe? Like my guns and shotguns and shit? If I'm laying down on this bed, do I? Oh. Increase your health, increase your stamina, increase blood capacity, increase your blood absorption, increase your life regen when using bite income. I believe that might be good actually, because I'd love to bite people. Increase the damage inflicted when using bite. I don't give a fuck about that really. At least not right now. Blood spare, shadow mists. Blood capacity. Outreach. This thing, though. I'm thinking I'm gonna upgrade that. Can I... Well, I can't do it two, two, two times. But should I do it two times? That's... Here's your blood absorption. So I'm gonna... Drain more blood. But this is gonna... Increase the healing I do when I bite. So I'm gonna do that, I think. Try to get this up very, very quick. Like ultimate moves? I don't think I can do that yet. Level 5. Okay. Coagulation. You will block your target's blood in their veins, making them defenseless. Oh. You create an invisible barrier, absorbing direct damage until it fades or is destroyed. Oh, good. Oh, more. Look at that. Let's see if I can uh, continue to track this asshole. Ah, uh, Jesus Christ, I don't see shit. I'm wondering how I can sneak. Sneaking would have been kind of a cool thing to do here. Follow the blood. Fresh trail. blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. This guy's a lead rod. That's a guy. There's two guys over there. Give me my axe. Used scythe. Two-handed weapon, a large scythe blade mounted on a long wooden stick. Weapon ability, parry. It's a very slow weapon though. I can use this, maybe. I don't know how to use that, but I can. Got two out of six shotgun shells, 12 of 18 bullets. I can't carry a lot of weapons, or a lot of bullets, I see. This place reeks of bloodshed. Confront William Bishop. Oh, this guy's gonna be like a boss or something. This creature is bedeviled. I must put it down. Very glad I actually. Hold up. Get out of here. Fuck off with your fucking damage, dude. Oh, that's how I... Okay. This is actually not too bad. Blood, asshole. Uh, 
Oh, he's mad. Bludgeon. What's that? Melee weapon. Wooden stick reinforced with metal edge. Redestined to crush skulls and bones. That's cool. There's something I can... Holy shit, this guy has killed many people. William, please. Stop. William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? We knew him well. Another lost soul. A kindred spirit. Sir. Listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I am a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must Behind return you. to my flock. They'll stray without me. Damn it, woman. Remember, certain skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by skull? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized... Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you... like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. Oh, she's a vampire. By George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please, I almost tend to my fault. My flock needs me. Yes, sir. Go with a good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. Okay. Is there something I can learn this from this? This poor creature can't be my... Blood sample. Blood sample of William Bishop. A fresh sample of William Bishop's blood in the small Baker. teeth. Okay. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. Maybe there's a place nearby I can... Can I jump up here maybe? No? Doesn't really seem like I can jump up here anywhere. This guy is pretty healthy, I guess. This is a pretty beautiful game. We're on our way to game. the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? What woman? Oh, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that... Skull. You must know who she is. And I thought you were gentlemen. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back. But I will tell you, she values her privacy. I wonder well, who she is. peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal. If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End, and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stone, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. How, Reed. How do you know who I am? 
No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed, a surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it. I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed, marvelous. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. And what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word again, from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth, but when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. Of that, you are right. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this... affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. That is pretty interesting though, so he's gonna join the hospital as like a doctor. When as a vampire, that's actually kind of genius. Dr. Swansea, thank goodness, I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane, for I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy. Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. You're coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. That is highly interesting. So... Can I use my vampire powers? I can. Analyze William Bishop's blood in the hospital. I will do that. I'm just gonna take a, a quick stroll around here. You can do better than that. Nah, it's my turn. The hell is going on here? Rotten or crusty, each heart contains the secret of life. Drink at this river. Try it all. Should I? <laughs> oh, come on, you bastard. I won't bite. Sir, please. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass. Uh oh. Come on. 
social circle nor relationship. I don't know enough about him yet. That's gonna give me 500 experience. Ugh. Come on. No, I'm, I'm not gonna be doing that. I don't think. It is too close to the hospital. I think. He's like 6,000 experience. Holy shit. Insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. Alright, alright, sorry. I am in pain here. My guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor. Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. Blood and quality indicates how much experience you will obtain for a particular citizen. The higher blood quality, the more experience you get. So if I drink the blood of your prey, you first need to mesmerize them to lead them out of sight from others. Your mesmerized level must be equal or higher than the citizen's resistance. I'm not gonna... I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take him to the hospital. If I can, I'm going to bring him to the hospital. I can't undo the action I have done here, but... I'm thinking I can... Can I talk to them? No? Seriously? Seriously? Am I actually supposed to kill this guy? I don't want to kill him. It kind of seems... If I if I'm supposed to be killing him then I'm then so bad, but if I can not kill him then I won't be doing that. Embracing clay will provide a massive experience boost, but be aware that there will be consequences. Learning about citizens and collecting their hints will increase the experience gain. So the more I know about the person, the more experience I will get from them. I'm not gonna kill him. No more. Not tonight. Not like this. I will not take another life. Come on, dude. Whoa, I feel giddy. It is wise for the huntsman to sometimes let his prey go. But no famished hunter can run for long. I get that. I will have to eventually kill people I do see that but I will hmm. what happened? So I can't get him up that sucks there's a chest here for me Is there anything more I can get out of this place? Good evening, sir. So it is true. The famous Dr. Reed has joined us. I can't think of any better news during these terrible times. Do we know each other? Actually, yes. We met once before at the Rockefeller University in New York. Dr. Tippett, yes, I remember. 
I was assisting Professor Carell in his research about coronary bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. He was also very confident about your future. And look at you now. Eminent surgeon and blood transfusion specialist. That's actually pretty cool. So I need more hens to... okay. What is the Pembroke Hospital situation? And please, speak freely. This hospital is not exactly the best of London. I'm sure you are used to working in a better environment. It's more than enough. In any case, the personnel of a hospital are much more important to me than the building. Don't be misled by appearances, Dr. Reed. This hospital does not lack talented people. It just lacks hope. That's interesting, though. What can you tell me about the staff in the hospital? Some are really good, and others are not so good. But during this troubled period, there is no time for slander. I prefer to focus on the positive character traits. Tell me more about cherished people, then. Nurse Brannigan is a pearl. She is the most helpful and dedicated nurse I've ever worked with. A clever and cheerful woman. You really seem to admire her skills. I'll go even further. If she was a man, she would be a damn fine practitioner. That's interesting. Any opinion about the management? I don't always agree with Dr. Swansea's reserve, but I must admit he does all he can to keep this facility running during this crisis. Ah, yes, the burden of command. I was fed up with this concept while serving as a medical officer. Don't get me wrong. Swansea's a good administrator. I just wish he would get out of his office down again. Okay, so I do have our hands, but I can't seem to use it anywhere. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. Maybe later on. That's Gwyneth right in here. Oh, I don't have a hint about her, so maybe I I'm can... I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised, but I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. Well, it is. Why does Dr. Tippett's claim you're the main reason he keeps working, despite his fatigue? If it wasn't for him, I probably would have left the Pembroke years ago. Dr. Tippetts does not think of you as just a nurse anymore, does he? If you're suggesting he's not taking my gender into consideration when it comes to medical practice and knowledge, I really hope he doesn't. That's interesting, though. So, I'm guessing they're probably in love. How are things here? Not good, to say the least. We're struggling against an invisible enemy, more lethal than any bullet from a gun. It's hard, Doctor. So it's some kind of a like a virus or something? An invisible enemy. Quite a poetic term for a disease, especially from a nurse. Sorry, Doctor. These last few weeks have been exhausting. We could all do with a good night's sleep. Do you think this hospital can survive the epidemic? We are all volunteers here, and we're trying to hold fast, but how do we beat an invisible killer? Some nurses have already resigned. I'm not familiar with all the staff yet. Perhaps you could help me. Brilliant professionals, most of them. Dr. Swansea has a gift for recruiting talent. Most of them? Is there a problem I should know about, nurse? It would be inappropriate for me to speak ill of a colleague. Okay. Is there anyone that stands out? Well, I have never met someone as dedicated as Dr. Tippett's. He should be a standard for us all here. If only he were younger, 
Why should his age be a problem? I guess it's fair to say he's always pushing himself to the limits. He just doesn't know when to stop and get some rest. Ah. Nurse Brannigan, if you do know something, please tell me. Anything you say will be held in confidence. No. I may disagree with some conduct, but in the end, everybody is doing their best. Okay. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Maybe I can get some answers out of this guy now. Where is he? Is that him? Oh, that's her. Uh, what about this guy, Tib Tibet, or something? Or I'm getting, I'm guessing that's her. Can I run past her? No, I can't. Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I found a wounded man by the docks. He answers to the name of Clay Cox. He requires urgent medical attention. Already making the rounds? That's the Pembroke spirit. I'll ask our porter, Milton, to bring him back immediately. Thank you, nurse. I am guessing that it's what gonna bite me in the ass that I didn't Dr. kill him. Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. I would like to ask a few questions first. What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. It's right to assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough, and better than me. The administrator has better things to do than mix with us. Okay. Apologies, I've only just met him the once. This is sudden. I've only just returned to England. Dr. Swansea is a brilliant surgeon and the most compassionate physician. Interesting. Okay. And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in. How does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. Poor thing was in quite a state of shock. If you could point me in the direction of my room again, nurse. Second floor of the hospital, left after the stairs. It's the last vacant office at the end of the corridor. Okay. Thank you, Nurse Crane. I'm guessing this is the hospital. Well, I believe this is it for now. I'm not gonna um, play anymore right now. So thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe or something that would make my day entirely and uh, i'll see you guys in the next episode goodbye <laughs>